Okay, if you look at your schedule, um, you'll notice here that on Thursday, the 19th, it says purity in the church. When I talk about purity, I'm talking specifically about sexual purity. So what I've done after a lot of soul searching and prayer to figure out what's going to be best for the students in this, I decided to go with um, some talks by someone who's been involved in a ministry of helping men to walk in sexual purity for many years. And um, this, I'm giving you videos uh, that are really very well done and very meaningful. And these videos are, um, this is on the 19th, I think, here, Sexual Purity in Ministry. And these videos are from a ministry called Pure Life. And there's actually, there are 20 of them in the group. I'd be delighted if you looked at all of them. And, um, but I'm expecting you to actually deal with these. So let me just say first what I'm expecting of you. Um, you're not gonna be able to incorporate this into your outline per se, but you will, because one of your main goals is going to be to deal with this problem in the church. Uh, the, for the problem of sexual purity in the church. It's going to be one of the main things you're going to have to deal with. And in, in chap, your, your orange chapter, so that's what we're looking at, the orange chapter. Oh, that's right. It would be here in your, no, 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 not there, here. In your orange chapter, which is these fourth ministers, character, purity in the church, weakness in Christ and Holy Spirit and ministry, in this one, you've got to include this as one of your goals. You're saying this is impossible. This is way too much, but you have to do it. So let me explain why. The greatest danger facing the church, I have absolutely no question about this. The greatest danger facing the church worldwide is sexual purity, especially because of smartphones. Yeah, that's it, smartphones. Smartphones are absolutely going to destroy the church. They're going to destroy the church because men look at pornography on their smartphones. And unless we teach men how to overcome these temptations, and we are not doing it in the church, and you know we're not doing it in the church, but unless we can teach men to overcome this, we are not going to be able to have godly elders, and we're not going to be able to have godly leaders, and we're not going to be able to have godly pastors. It won't happen. Because men are addicted to looking at pornography on their mobile phones. Of course, they're also addicted on their computers if they have laptop computers. But unfortunately, they don't need it. Pornography is such an enormous industry that there is more money spent every year to buy or to rent or whatever they call that, to use pornography. There's more money spent in that than all of the Hollywood studios put together in the amount of money that they made every year before COVID happened. Really, I'm serious. It's the, and the network television too. I'm, I'm not making this up. I mean, it's a statistical fact. Pornography is rampant in the world. It's destroying our world. I can just tell you from many, many different YouTube videos about this dangerous problem from scientists, doctors, psychologists, Christians, that pornography is destroying not just the church, but the whole fabric of culture. And Pakistan is one of the biggest pornography users in the world. We're a big nation. Yeah, okay, so we are a big nation. But we're the number two user of pornography in the world right now. That is very disturbing and very frightening because pornography is poison. It's poison that destroys the mind, the heart, the soul, relationships, marriages, friendships. It destroys everything. It's, it's Satan's dream tool. Satan is the happiest evil fallen angel that could ever be because he is using pornography to all of its evil fullness. So if we expect to have churches that line up with the apostles Paul, Apostle Paul's theology, we've got to figure out a way to minister to the men in our church. Some women too, but I don't think so in Pakistan. But in in Western cultures, yeah, because it's everything's out of control in Western culture. But somehow we've got to figure out a way. We have to. This is not an option. We have to figure out a way to deal with this pornography epidemic. You think that COVID-19 is an epidemic? 
Well, this COVID-19 doesn't infect many as nearly as many people. So that's what, that's why we're doing this. And so I want you to include this. Okay. I want you to include this in your plan of how are we going to deal with sexual immorality? It's like enormous, absolutely enormous. Probably the most serious of everything we're, we're going to talk about on the course. Okay. So that's the idea. I know that I'm sounding over dramatic, but I'm not being over dramatic here. I'm right. I mean, this, this is it. This is the ball game. Okay. So take care of it, get on top of it, make, make a good, um, watch it carefully and use it. Okay.